Hello and welcome to the Vintage Toy Review. And today we're going over the Netflix Masters of the Universe Revelation He-Man and Skeletor. And you can see here with the packaging as I spin around, you can see the artwork on the back. And there's the figures and the windows. Now let's take a closer look here at He-Man. We got Masters of the Universe Revelation. And there's a figure with his accessories. And I don't like the way the packaging is because it does like that. And you can see it got a little dinged up. Luckily, I opened mine. Uh, He-Man on the side. A nice image right there of the man himself. And some gibberish. There's a the figures. And there's He-Man again with a rider. Now for a Skeletor. There's a the figure there. Same kind of problem there at the top as you can see. Master of Us. Skeletor. There's the image. We got gibberish on the bottom. And on the back we get the other figures in the wave. And a nice image of Skeletor with a write-up. Now let's get them open and let's see what we got. And here they are out of the packaging. As you can see I kept the background because I do like that rock background there. Now, let's take a look at the figures. Now we'll do a little spin here. Oh, whoop. Well, everything's fallen. He-Man fell just like he does in the cartoon. Now, Skeletor does come with a cloth cape, which I like that. Ah, see, he keeps falling just like in the cartoon. We got a weak He-Man just like he was weak in the Revelations cartoon. If you're a fan of the cartoon, I'm happy for you, but it wasn't that great to me. Beautiful animation, but the story was just very lackluster. Now, let's start with He-Man for accessories. He comes with, let me get it, there we go, extra hands. So we have open hands. He comes with a shield. I like the detail on the back. I really like that. How he holds it. And his power sword. And I really do like this new power sword. It's longer. It's more sleek. And here we go with He-Man. Now, it's hard to tell on here, but his skin is more of a yellowish. He kind of has like a jaundice, like he's sick or something. I don't know. But... Other than that, the articulation is great. I like that. Uh, the, the wrist guards or the gauntlet. I like how it's separate, so you can take it off. Loin cloth. A little loose hair, a little softer. Nice sculpt on the boots, kind of like the classics. And the head is really, really small. Is it me, or does that head seem small to you? Hmm. For articulation, the head goes all around. Take a look down so far, up so far. A little, not much, no head tilt. Arms go up so far, and they spin all around. We get bicep swivel, double elbow. And let's see as far as it'll go. And wrist. Whoops. Let me pop that back in there. And if you want, you can take that off. Very cool. Now we get upper torso, waist, legs go so far, so far, upper thigh, double knee, boot, and ankle. Now we'll switch out the hand here from the fist. To the gripping hand. We'll put the shield in this hand here. And the sword. There we go. And we'll do the pose, the iconic pose. These legs are kind of like, I try to squeeze them together and they pop back out. I don't know what's going on there up at the, up between the legs there, but his legs don't want to go together. And I think that's why he's having trouble standing. 
There we go. Adjust that here. If you want to take the sword, it does have a spot in the back for it. As you can see, it does have a little groove in there that's made just for the sword. Very nice. I do wish the He-Man and Skeletor also each came with their own half of the Power Sword. And the cool kind of different ways that they looked in the cartoon when it got split. But, as you know how the cartoon goes, He-Man and Skeletor had nothing to do with that. After it got split, that is. Come on, stand. Ah. Does anybody else have this problem with their He-Man standing? Ah, there we go. Now on to Skeletor. And Skeletor 2 also comes with extra hands here. Come here, come here, you. There we go. Nice detail, black nails and everything. He comes with a staff. And his regular Havoc staff. There's nice detail on that. It's not pointy at the end, though. Hmm. Now let's take a look at Skeletor. Now I do like the head sculpt, but it is small, like He-Man. It just seems small. The hood and everything seems very small. Well, everything else looks really good, though. There's a Skeletor back. I like how that's kind of separate from the rest here. So you can see it's not connected there. That's flimsy there, so it's easy to move. Very nice. Now the articulation is the same. Head goes around, down so far, up so far. And then you head tilt, tilt, head tilt, <laughs> head tilt. Arm goes all the way around. Shoulder is getting in the way a little bit on the armor, but not much. Double elbow, bicep swivel, and wrist. Now he has upper torso. Waist, legs go so whoop, they go so far. There we go, so far. There we, go. we get upper thigh. Oh, get in there. there we go. Now I got it farther. There we go. And as you see, they don't really want to close that good. They kind of bounce back out once you separate, once you spread them open. Kind of like a, a hooker. Look at that. That's weird. Come on. Oh well. Anyways, goes up and back. Upper thigh, double knee, boot, and ankle. Will he stand, or is he gonna have problems standing now? This other one can go in this hand here. Yeah. Come on, legs. Ha! <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Will they stand together? Quit being a bitchy man. I'll call you he bitch. There we go. And let's let's see if they'll stay for the spin. Oh, let me fix this cape. There we go. I kind of wish the cape was longer and it touched the ground. And now to compare him, we have all the different Skeletors. We have the Origins. We have the classics that I added a cape to and gave it some battle damage, made it all weather. And I did a little repainting on them and detail them. We have the Filmation Skeletor. And now we have the Revelations. 
And the He-Mans. We have the Origins. With that horrible head. We have the Classics, yeah. With a little energy blast from a... I think that's from a Power Rangers figure. On the sword. And then we have the Filmation. And now we have the Revelations with that tiny head. shield off since none of the other ones have a shield. There we go. And like I said, if you enjoyed the new Revelation cartoon, I am happy for you. I would never get mad at somebody for enjoying something that didn't quite entertain me. Hopefully part two when it comes out is a lot better than part one and we get more He-Man. Thank you.